Good morning, everybody. 17 minutes after the hour. Welcome to the Sunrise Show. Craig Frunick is your humble host. And before we bring uh, Steve Vincent on, I want to just let everyone know the headline that came out just a few weeks ago. Medford ranks number one for high-tech diversity measure. Southern Oregon surpasses other U.S. regions in high technology. And that headline went around the region. And, of course, they talked about best-performing cities recently in the conference of Southern Oregon uh, you know, Southern Oregon uh, Regional Economic, uh, so ready, economic development. And I want to bring Steve Vincent onto the program. Steve, it's great to have you on. Uh, Steve, you're the founder of the Angel Investment Network, and uh, I always have been a part of So Ready under their um, umbrella. And now coming up next Wednesday, the 29th, there is the uh, conference the Southern Oregon Angel and Entrepreneurs Conference at Edenvale Winery at Voorhees Road. Tickets are 5 bucks from 5 to 7 p.m. Great way to get out and check out. And the certified investors. But, Steve, let's go back and refresh everyone what angel investors are and how they can get you know connected with you and all of that. So great to have you in this morning. Well, uh, good morning, Craig, and thanks for uh, inviting me to come in this morning. And, uh, you know, the title founder is... Uh, I guess I would say I've been adjunct staff at So Ready for several years. You know, we have a lot of community leaders who will help to take on new initiatives in our community, and this is just one that uh, I thought that I could make a difference on. And uh, but the credit goes to a lot of investors who've uh, agreed to put up their own uh, personal cash into into companies. Uh, but just a refresher on who angel investors are. And we actually have a little over 100 who have agreed to participate in some way or another in this angel investment network looking for an opportunity to make a seed capital investment in a startup company here in our region. And the accredited investors uh, is an SEC term uh, for somebody who has enough net worth that if they lose it, that there aren't going to be consequences uh, such as mine if I were to you know, whittle away my 401k <laughs> exactly. uh, on something that I really can't afford to do. And, and just a refresher on what we've done over the last four years, uh, we, we've come together with 58 individual investors who put up the cash to uh, invest in uh, nearly $1.2 million across That's eight fantastic. different companies. Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. And uh, so the, the top company was Folium of Ashland, which has had an investment of $450,000, and I think that's about the top end of what the capacity of a, a collective of accredited investors in the Rogue Valley uh, would have the capacity to do. They, they certainly have much more depth of capital, but when I think about this marketplace in this region, I think, I think you know, 500000 maybe seven fifty is about where, where it would tap out. Uh, on the low side, though, uh, we had a company receive $10,000. So we had four companies that received a majority of that between 160 on the low side and the 450 on the high side. Side, We had four other companies that, outside of our process, while the companies came into the angel investors, uh, a few individuals kind of went outside the process and said, you know what, I like this other company. Uh, I'm going to do a smaller amount. And uh, what, what's great about what we experienced is we had these individual investors come together and really begin to understand the opportunity uh, of investing in local startups. So we've advanced the process away from what was a once a year, winner take all. It was a contest. A majority right. of the investors that participated would actually vote on the company and they'd have to vote for the best investment. While they all had a local bias, it, the outcome still had to be the best investment. And what we began to see is uh, Portland area startups that were a lot further along 
in deployment of a, of a new product or a so new outside software. Outside the area where we're coming in, they were basically hawking yep. on the they, investors. And yep. so now what's happened is you've just changed it just a little bit. So the investors are, and they're all saying, hey, let's stay local, buy local, invest local, and keep the entrepreneurial spirit local here in Southern Oregon. So this is totally an improvement. Yeah, and, and I think that we, we needed to go through the other process so that we could, as a community, entrepreneurs, investors, collectively gain the experience in how to do this. And now the next step for us is we've created a, a vetting committee. It's a subgroup of the larger group of investors who are looking at business plans and deal flow on an ongoing basis. In fact, uh, just a couple of weeks ago, this committee of five uh, entertained a couple of companies that came in and made a pitch. And, and their role isn't necessarily to make a determination on the investment or due diligence. It's to determine sort of an early stage of viability. Is this something that I would call all of my other peer investors and, and uh, recommend that they take a look at? And we're, we're, uh, we're still waiting for the right viable investment. Uh, the deal flow coming into this uh, committee isn't, uh, isn't as viable as what an angel investor needs. And, and I guess I would encourage any listeners or entrepreneurs that would consider this space or spectrum of capital uh, is to, to be sure that this is a, a space of capital that they want because of the strings that come right. attached, but also spend uh, just a little bit of time on this search engine called Google and, and type in uh, angel investors and understand what the expectations are. Because over the years, I've had calls from people who seem surprised that the investors want their money back. There are people who call and uh, seem to assume that this is government money. Uh, and there are people who just don't, don't realize what uh, the kind of losses angel investors typically incur uh, over a portfolio well, of investments. And, and like we were talking about, it's much like a shark tank, but Rogue Valley version uh, doesn't have all of the, uh, you know, ratings and undertones that it does, but it, it tells you it's an equity stake in the company, and for and it just gets you thinking, and I tell you, this this uh, a Angels and Entrepreneurs Conference uh, coming up next Wednesday at, at uh, Edenville Winery is a great chance, and there's some featured speakers. I want to continue and talk about that a little bit. We have a break coming up, but uh, Steve, it's great to have you in this morning, and ladies and gentlemen, um, Steve Vincent, uh, he's uh, Angels Investment Network and, of course, part of the So Ready Group, and they're going to be hosting a conference this next Wednesday. Let's take a quick break and come right back because I want to talk more about uh, the entrepreneurial spirit in Southern Oregon, all the great businesses. I mean, there is, you know, you just can't help but get excited about the great work being done in Southern Oregon. So, Steve, let's do that. And Sounds great. All right, all right, come back. The Bloomberg Market Update is next, and then we'll be back on the Sunrise Show after this quick break. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. 35 minutes after the hour, and if you didn't catch our segment right before the break, we have uh, Steve Vincent in the studio this morning. He, he's uh, part of the reason, uh, main reason, that the Angel Investment Network of Southern Oregon, the Southern Oregon Angel Investment Network is here, and of course, they've always been a part of So Ready, and So Ready, uh, the Angels and Entrepreneurs Conference is coming up this coming Wednesday, the 29th, out of Edenville Winery from 5 to 7 p.m. It's 20 bucks. Uh, to get in, and if you're an entrepreneur, because you're going to be busy pitching your ideas and talking to the investors, it's only a $5 ticket. But, of course, the $20 gets you uh, uh, a, a drink and some hors d'oeuvres and that kind of stuff. And Edenville Winery, can't even imagine the weather and how nice it'll be. Uh, but I tell you what, to get in the room, to get, and it's only, it's limited to the first hundred. So uh, that's a big key. But to get in the area, into the space with investors and talented individuals, uh, guest speakers include David Gremmels from Rogue Creamery, uh, President uh, Kerry Cowan from Carries of Oregon, and Annie Lundgren from uh, Joma Films in Ashland. And, and see, before we uh, take some more comments, it was interesting, Ron Fox, he said, 
related to Medford ranks number one for high tech diversity, he said, uh, high tech businesses in Medford and other Southern Oregon cities are providing innovation to major global entities, quote, from this corner of the world, our high tech companies are doing business with some of the most recognizable names in business history, says Ron Fox from So Ready. And we are doing great things in Southern Oregon. And, and Steve, uh, these investors, this angel investment, it's much like a shark tank with, with all of that kind of stuff. And, and the money and the possibility, the business plans, it's exciting for entrepreneurs to get into the fray, right? Oh, yeah. And, and Shark Tank's a, a perfect analogy. If uh, somebody spends enough time watching the TV show, uh, the difference is our investors are not as condescending to the entrepreneurs. Yeah. You know, there's some ratings that are going on in the sort of the conduct of the investors. Uh, but a, a similarity, you know, the, the investors in Southern Oregon are looking for scalable companies. They're looking for a company that'll have some kind of growth trajectory in, in sale of product or distribution or, or penetration into a, a distribution channel that will, will cover all the losses. Because the reality is for angel investors investing in startups, it's about a 70 to an 80% um, failure rate uh, for all the companies that are invested in. And it takes two or three to have that rock star type of rate of return and liquidity event you know, somewhere between five and ten years after the initial equity investment uh, before an investor realizes any kind of rate of return across the portfolio. And, and so for entrepreneurs, they need to recognize it, it's got to be a concept or a, a widget or a service uh, or some software product that has wide distribution across many uh, segments of the market. Uh, I mean, and, and we've found where the ideas explode in certain ways and then maybe an idea will come out the side door and, and, and just like you said, how to solve a problem and what's the market for it and then price point and it can be a service or a widget or anything and, and it's, it's great to watch and to know that we've got hundreds of thousands of dollars available for investors, I mean, excuse me, for entrepreneurs uh, is a great thing in Southern Oregon. Yeah, and, and so here, here's what we have. We have the investors who have the capacity to invest. Now we're waiting for the deal flow. And, and I'm actually a little disappointed that I haven't seen more deal flow come into the Angel Network. Uh, kind of wondering where it's at. Uh, I'm still optimistic that it's here, but I, I'm not seeing a lot of people knocking on the door. And so if anybody out there is listening, you got a better than 50-50 chance of getting some attention. Uh, we're, not, we're not getting dozens of business plans for scalable companies seeking startup capital. You know, uh, Steve, I've, I've thought about this long and hard as we've talked in the past about things. And folks, um, I, just from the standpoint of standing up and opposition, you know, people are afraid. You know, they, they, they're afraid to take that step. They, they're desperate. They're going paycheck to paycheck. They've got families to take care of. They've got... Uh, you know, businesses that they, where they have and what job they might have next. And it, it is a fearful situation. And how do you get a business plan put together if you're scratching to make ends meet to begin with? So I, I know before you close out here, I'll just say uh, SouthernOregonAngelInvestors.com. It's a long URL. So if you forget it, <laughs> go into Google and type Southern Oregon Angel Investors. And, and we've got a, a pretty good a uh, set of information in there that will direct companies on where to submit the business plan. And, and I'll also clarify, you, you know, $50,000 is on the low side. If somebody has a prototype that they're trying to uh, push into beta testing or into the market, now the whole group of angel investors are unlikely to come together on that. However, we have such a spread of investors with expertise in so many different industry sectors, it may be that we can find a single investor with a relevant background that can uh, that can help with that kind of a startup. Uh, and then at the high end, the $500,000 end, that's where we would bring in, you know, a majority of the investors who would then decide among each other, well, which piece of this do we want? And, and so that's, uh, I'd say that that's the range. Yeah, no, I, I agree. And, and Steve, it's, it's great to have you in. And you're right, we're out of time, but it's going to be, we're going to be talking about this between now and coming up this Wednesday, the uh, Oregon Angels Investment 
Well, it's the Entrepreneurs Conference uh, coming up at Edenville Winery. And Steve, great to have you in Thank this you. morning. And it, we'll be talking, like I said, more about this. The Angels and Entrepreneurs Conference at Edenville Winery coming up next Wednesday, the 29th, from 5 to 7 p.m., 20 bucks, but the first 100 people. And then after that, they cap it off. So, all right, well, good deal. Well, we got more coming up, but we got to get to a break. More in the Sunrise Show after this. We'll be back. And you can get to that whole thing, soready.org. You can follow along on that or get to, um, Steve, what was the website again? SouthernOregonAngelInvestors.com. There we go. Good, good, good. All right. More on the Sunrise Show after this. Quick break. ABC Sports coming up in a few minutes, and then we'll be back after that on the Sunrise Show.